Well, guys, Garrett and I are just getting to the scrapyard. This is our weekly fun event that we do. So we work at a tow truck company and every week, well, not every week, but sometimes when we have accidents on the road, these cars get totaled and we actually take them down to the scrapyard. So once they pile up and we get enough cars, we're like, hey, we need to go to the scrapyard. Well, we throw them back on the trucks and then bring them down to the scrapyard. So I got the Mustang. If you guys remember, this was in an accident on the highway. And then I forget what Garrett has, but we recorded videos on all these where we pretty much, you know, these cars were in accidents. So we had to clear the road, get them back to our site. And then now they got totaled out by insurance. Let's see what Garrett's got. He's got the Western Star. The Canadian flag looks sick. He's got the Cummins. So we'll pretty much just drop these off. I think Garrett has to run one or two more cars. And then today we also own the scrapyard, which is nice. So I better get this Tiger Cat fired up, warmed up. And it's got these claws that sometimes work, sometimes don't. But you pretty much just grab the car and then toss it onto our pile and we smash them. Are you ready to get to work? I'm ready, man. This is my favorite time of the week is when we bring the scrapyard cars in. Oh, yeah, man. This is the fun day. It's also payday, right? Oh... No, for me, yes, but you, probably not. All right, oh. jump in the truck, get it unloaded, and uh, and I'll drive off the Mustang. Okay. All right, I got to fire up the Tiger Cat, man. Yeah, you could go do that. I'm going to lower down this ramp. I guess, Garrett, you don't even need to lower it down, man. I'll just grab it from there. Okay, I just don't damage the truck. Yeah, I shouldn't. I'm a pro, man. This isn't my first All day right. on the job here. Well, there we go. I'll leave that there. I'll get this other one taken off. Oh, yeah. So check this out, guys. This claw is pretty cool. I would say you could, like, adjust it, and then we'll come down on the roof. And then, what? I just need to close it and lift up. There we go. Check that out. All right, Garrett. Check this out, man. I'm going to fling it. There we go. Slammed it into uh, into that wrecked Peterbilt. That was something that also wrecked. So that semi-truck, we rescued that. As well, there's a big interstate pileup. Then we got some old excavators, some old dozers, some old wheel loaders that uh, we kind of use. Sometimes we drive a wheel. We used to drive the bulldozer over the cars to help smash them before we took them into the into the uh, compressor machine. Just the, especially if they're bigger trucks. There we go. Right, Looks I'm going to leave Garrett. this here for you. Yeah. And then I'll disconnect it. There you go. Nice. I'll just kind of pull on out. Heck yeah, man. Mayberry Rescue. Lower it down. Perfect. All right. I'm going to actually take your truck, if you don't mind, to go grab the next vehicle. Yeah, that's probably a lot easier. That way you don't got to hook it up. You can just winch it up. Should be good. All right. Well, I'll be right back then. Well, guys, check this out. I don't think I really showed you it too up close. I got to show you the Mustang too, especially after we threw it. Oh, gosh. But that's the Mustang. It was a front end collision. It was like some street racing high school kid. He must have just got it. And then flew into a building and i think these two cars were yeah if i remember it was last week these two were in the same accident so this guy unfortunately also hit head on into a building so it looks pretty rough he had the bumper the bumper's like in there and the engine's coming off the hood it's not good all right let's swing it around this claw i used to have one i used to have just a bucket and a thumb now that we have this claw it works out so good all right just curl in and straight down that looks good and close I can come on. Oh, this one's harder to pin. Oh, it's hard to pinch here. Yeah, if we can do it like this here, let's see if we can just grab it by the bed. This one's kind of slippery. We keep slipping with the claw. There we go. I think we got it. Heck yeah. There we go, boys. <laughs> and I think Garrett's already on his way back too. Spencer, I'm going down, man. I think I got caught on it. Oh no. Oh no, this isn't good. Am I gonna have to tow you back on your feet? No, no, I'll get it. I'll get it. Just relax. I got it. All I gotta do. Check this out. This is how you do it, man. And That's gonna rough hurt. landed. Oh, yeah, that was a little bumpy in there. Yeah, there you go. Well, here's the next one. There you go. All right, yeah. Maybe I should get a bit closer. That way I don't tip this time. Yeah, now this is going to be a pretty heavy truck. So just keep in mind it is a Hummer, of course. Are these Hummers heavier than that? 3,500? I mean, that's a diesel pickup truck. Those diesel engines ain't light. I guess that's true. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't know. Oh, yeah, check that out. Oh, okay. okay. That's one way to do it. Spencer. All right, let's back her up. Back her up, man. Watch that. Don't get that close, man. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll be back here. There we go. Yeah, these wider ones. Let's see if I can. Sometimes when I just grab it by the tire here, I think I got a good grip here. As long as we don't tip. And there we go. We'll set it off to the side. Looks good. And we'll push it one more time here. That's nice, too. We can kind of push it with the claw. Oh, Watch out. There you go. Nice. Yep. 
Man, look at the damage on that thing. Yeah, the Hummer was pretty rough too. I didn't look it over too much, but is it same on the front end? Yeah, everybody's getting hit in the front. Usually, you know, it's kind of T-bone side swipes or, you know, get rear-ended. Yeah, I love jumping on all the scrap vehicles. Heck yeah, man. Getting the dozer if it fires. Sometimes we have trouble firing up, but as soon as we fire it up, stack the cars, and then we drive it over. This one, I, I split in half with the on accident. No, I'm kidding. It was not an accident. Yeah, I was going to say, that was definitely intentional, man. Yeah, we got all these cars that. stacked up here. And then sometimes we, when we need to move around to the scrapper, we uh, we move it with the case wheel loader here. So, Garrett, be careful, man. You can get a sharp piece of metal on you or something. We do have a few more vehicles that they actually want us to help tow. And depending on their condition, we bring them here. Are you down to accept those calls? Uh, Not really, man. I thought we had the day off today. No, man, we don't. We got to tow at least one vehicle. All right, one more vehicle we got to bring in. Okay, that works. That way we'll take it straight to the scrapyard. Usually we get one that's wrecked, and then we got to... And then we're going to take it back to our place, and then we keep doing jobs, and then once a week we do this. But, yeah, we can save ourselves a trip. All right, well, let's get moving. All right, I'm following you, big cat. All right, sounds good. Hang a left over here. Typically, I don't, uh, I don't ever follow Garrett. But this time he said he's got the directions. I do, man. And this is going to be an interesting one because we're going to be, unfortunately, scrapping a very nice car. And by that, I mean it's an Audi R8. Audi R8? Yeah, hopefully we don't end up in a ditch or on a dead end. But you're going too slow, man. I got to make the pass here. All right. Well, just keep an eye out. It will be on your left-hand side. So from what I could see in the report, it says that they were getting the driver a like worked on and yep. they were driving at night they forgot about all of it and they just drove right into the hole jeez oh here here's some construction uh could be what in tarnation man holy biscuits all right stop slow down first off all right what the heck they don't even got cones or you know caution signs or nothing who needs this big of a hole i don't know they must have been doing utility work that's what it is Garrett. they were probably fixing sewer lines water lines i mean oh. you Around here, they bury water lines five, six, seven feet deep, which, well, that's <laughs> like, a little deeper than, than seven feet deep, but, you know, who knows? Yeah, and look, they have one of those new floating mailboxes. Oh, nice. So this guy was coming home at night, probably a long day at work, and just pulled right in here. Huh. Looks like it. And Is he all right? I don't know. Okay. Like, I'm assuming, like, it says that he made the report, so assuming he's okay. All right, well, let's but. get a winch on here. I'll take some pictures just for uh, information purposes. But anyway, yeah, get her hooked up. Get a winch going. Let's get her going. Yeah, and post this on our Instagram, man. Heck yeah, this is one of the crazier ones. There's been crazier ones, but the story is pretty crazy. This whole, I really wouldn't know what they were doing here. Yeah, no, and I guess no one's working today because obviously they can't really do work with us in here. Gotcha. Yeah, so we better get out, get this out of here quick so they can, so it doesn't happen again. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, well, I'm ready. Yep, go start ahead. Pull in. Everything's clear? Okay, yep, here we go. Clear. Here we are. Oh, it's dragging on quite a bit of dirt. Yeah, let's see why they said this thing's totaled. It's literally upside down. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll get it back. We'll get it scrapped. Or er, can we scrap it? What situation? I, it sounds like we're supposed to scrap it, but we just have to send the owner a photo first. I just want to see the damage. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, it's it's probably total. Yeah, the nice thing, these things are pretty light. So yeah, like the engine I think has some supposed to be like it. race cars, speed cars, so they should be pretty light. For sure. Here we go. All right, well, that's as far as that's gonna go. I guess I can just Oh just yeah, man. This up. thing weighs nothing. Hey, holy biscuits. Look at that. Well, why don't okay, you fold okay, in your maybe, sides, maybe, drive down the road like that, yeah, and see if it works. It's a little bit heavy. Here, could you there just set go. it on here? I can try to if it stops spinning. Here, I'll catch it. Here we go. Here we go. Bring it in a little bit. Yep. Just bring it, bring it in and down. Just, yep. Just like you are. Oh, we went. There we go. Undo the strap now or undo the. <laughs> okay. See if she holds. All right, man. Watch out. We got the Audi loaded up. Everything's looking good. We're going to head back, get her scrapped. What do you want to run the Tiger Cat when we get back, Garrett? Do I want to run the Tiger Cat? Man, I've never used that thing before. Well, I, you operate that 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 semi pretty good. You know, maybe we could get a promotion. All right, Garrett got a little nervous in the cab, and so I was like, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. So we'll swing around here. There you go. I turned it on, you know, like it was something. Yep, for sure. That's part of the battle. See the expert do it. Don't mess up. Yep, there we go. Should I? Yeah, I'll just push it. 
Try getting some air on that thing. Or, okay, yep, yep, that's one way to do it. You don't have to, oh, you check out some of our lights. That's all right. Shows yeah. that we're working hard. No, 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 I'm in here. There we go. Hold on. All right, perfect. There we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash the like button. Come on, Garrett. Why are you backing up on our cars? But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.